Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? Fomincho here, back at it once again with another video. Thank you for tuning in. Today, it is time to talk about the latest Sonic the Hedgehog announcements. Now, I know I'm a little bit late. Unfortunately, all this news dropped while I was at work. When I got home, I was planning on making a video, but I just felt absolutely terrible, had an awful day at work, and I was just too tired to record, but... Here I am now recording, so let's talk about this. First things first, we have Sonic Mania. Now this game is definitely a throwback, and I gotta be honest, I like it. I like it. I know they tried this before with Sonic the Hedgehog 4, and that was a, it was a failure. It was a failure to say the least, but I think that with this game, they're really trying to harken back to the good old days of Sonic, even bringing back the old sprites, and I like that. I really do, and I know a lot of people are complaining, saying that this is just a rehash, they're just doing the same thing over again, and yes, that, that is, that's exactly what they're doing. That is exactly what they're doing, and that is what they're intentionally doing, because they want to bring that back. That's what we all know and love, that's what I love, that is the Sonic that I absolutely love, so I'm glad to see that return. And I know um, a lot of people, again, were disappointed because they wanted something new, and we did get something new, I'm going to talk about that in just a second. I think that they definitely... Um, divided the fan bases quite well there, or, or appeased to both sides of the fan base of classic Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, the, us older folk that I'm, I say it like I'm 30 or something, I'm not that old. Um, but people that enjoy the classic Sonic the Hedgehog and people that enjoy um, the more, you know, Sonic Adventure kind of style. And, and I think that, that that's what we're going to get with these next two Sonic games. And I think that Sonic Mania is definitely going to find its place in the Sonic gaming lineup. I really do. I think this is a good looking game so far. I saw a lot of gameplay. It looks like they had some kind of show floor stuff, some uh, press getting a hold of the game, and it looks cool. It looks exactly like I want it to look like, and I'm excited to see more, and I am definitely going to be picking this up because I've actually been really like wanting to play Sonic the Hedgehog lately. I've been thinking about getting like the Sega, you know, like the Sonic collection or whatever, but I think this is definitely gonna fill in that gap that I've been, you know, needing to be filled for quite some time. Next, okay, next we're going to talk about, um, it doesn't even have a title yet, I was, trying to, I was about to say a title, but it doesn't even have a title yet, this brand new Sonic project that's coming out, I believe, holiday next year for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PC, and NX, and again, I love these NX announcements, I love how they're kind of rolling out, it makes me think, whenever you have a game coming out for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and NX, it's like, oh my god, NX is actually going to be able to to perhaps produce graphics that are at least as good as PlayStation 4. And that's just, I don't know, that's just nice for some reason. Um, I, I like that tangibility, like it becomes tangible when you have people actually announcing their game for the NX, so yeah. Anyway, what is this game? Um, yeah, so from the creators of two decent Sonic games, Sonic Colors and Sonic Generations, the only two decent Sonic games in the last 10 years in my opinion, um, are back at it again with another Sonic game and it looks like Sonic Generations 2. Like I, I, I don't know why they didn't just title it Sonic Generations 2. Maybe it has something else going on. Maybe there's something weird. I, I have no idea. Maybe, I, I'm not making a prediction here, but maybe this could be Sonic Adventure 3. Um, maybe it has something to do with like time travel or interdimensional travel, and that's what the story of Sonic Adventure 3 is going to be about. It looks interesting. It looks like the world is being destroyed. It, it looks like a Sonic game that we've seen before. It looks similar it looks like you know the same kind of you know cg graphics sonic saving the world it, it looks it's just a cg trailer but the idea of a sonic generations 2 puts a smile on my face like i like that it's cool i, I could see that working but i don't see that as am ambitious as i want a sonic game to be i was hoping for something a little bit bigger a little bit grander and that's why i'm expecting uh this project to actually be sonic adventure 3 like i'm thinking like Sonic Adventure 3, um, you know, can time continuum something, or interdimensional breakdown, or just something like a weird subtitle like that. I'm expecting something along those lines where you have um, these Sonic Adventure characters, like, you know, Sonic Knuckles, Tails, and, you know, all the other furry characters. <laughs> and they're like, let's go back in time, because we can't save the world by ourselves, we have to grab the old Sonic from this other dimension, or, you know, something along those lines. I think that's pretty cool. I think that putting a narrative on that, that game concept would be pretty interesting. They did that sort of with uh, the first Sonic Generations, but I think that hitting it even harder with the Sonic Adventure 3 would be even more exciting, and I think I think that's something that they might be trying to do. I don't know, maybe I'm just reaching for the stars here on the Sonic Adventure 3 thing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I know a lot of people bash the 3D Sonic games, but I absolutely loved Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. I think those games were just so fun. I, I absolutely love them. I can still play them today. Um, 
I don't know about the narrative. It wasn't like that exciting, but I, I think that going onward with another Sonic Adventure game would be really awesome. And I think that would be a very um, hype worthy uh, game announcement. And I think that you're going to see a title for this game quite soon. And I, I'm just going to say right now, don't be surprised if this game is actually going to be titled Sonic Adventure 3, uh, blah, 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 you know, whatever. So yeah. That is the announcement that were made. The actual stream itself was absolute trash, I heard. I heard that it was just so bad. The quality was terrible. Um, they had like Sonic dancing around with Hello Kitty. I I'm kind of glad I didn't get a chance to watch that because that sounds horrible. Um, but yeah, all in all, I'm excited for these Sonic games. I, I wasn't expecting too much out of this and we actually got some pretty decent looking games. I, I love the way Sonic Mania is looking. It's a definite throwback. Um, and I'm excited to hear more about this uh, new Sonic project. They're promising us something new, something grand. They're they're saying this stuff, and, and you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna put my trust in Sega and just say, hey, like, wow me. Just just do it. Just please make this game good. I, I don't know. If, I, again, I don't have that high expectations for any Sonic game. So even if it's just kind of good or or pretty decent, like Sonic Generations and Sonic Colors were, then thumbs up. That's great. Comment below. Let me know what you think of these Sonic announcements. What do you think about Sonic Mania? Do you think it's uh, too much of a classic throwback? Do you think they should be trying something a little bit new? And what do you think about this brand new Sonic project? Do you think that it could possibly be Sonic Adventure 3 um, slash Space Time Continuum? Or do you think it is just Sonic Generations 2 and they're just kind of trolling us? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed anything that I had to talk about. And please be sure to subscribe for my Mob Psycho 100 reviews every week. Anime videos, gaming videos, manga videos, everything in between. You can also follow me on Twitter at Fumancho1 to get updates on this channel and everything I mentioned earlier. And plus, I am at 96 subscribers right now, and good God, I'm so happy about it. Thank you all for subscribing. I'm about to hit 100 soon. I plan on doing a huge video thanking all of you guys that have subscribed. I really appreciate it. Um, my Death Note cast video has like over 7,000 views. I never would have expected that, so thank you all for watching that as well. Um, I just really appreciate you guys. You guys are just great fans, um, and it's it's fun to do this, and I cannot wait to hit 100. I cannot wait to hit 500. We're, we're definitely going to be talking about that kind of stuff in my you know 100 subscriber milestone video. But yeah, thank you so much for subscribing and, and uh, being supportive. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much. I actually have to go to work now, unfortunately. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.